Alright, so I know what you're thinking. You want to test out all the exotics and all that, but the problem is, you're kind of low on gold. Well, I have about three ways that, well, you can sort of get gold fast, but yeah, it really depends on how the match goes. Depending by some of them, like you have to be in certain game modes, either to make it easier or to have the options to do it. But anyway, I chose to do it on this account because I got 8,500 instead of like 10,000 on my main account. So, considering 10,000 is the maximum gold, I can't really show you how to get more gold without, you know, spending a lot of gold first. And yeah. But anyway, uh, first one, I guess the basic one or something like that. Yeah. Okay, so first one you can do is go to a collection NPC. These ones will just tell you to like collect materials and other stone, destroy stones and all that. Plus, you can also get like items from them sometimes. I don't know. So the collection ones are well, you got coal and Kyle. These are for like rock and metal, something like that. Wait, no. He's for rock and metal, he's for steel. Other ones, you got the fish and like outcast and Turk. Um, not sure if there's any other ones and on this account I haven't completed them all but I guess like sunflower and farmer steel could count but yeah not sure. This one could count as well but yeah. So yeah, just pick some ones that you need, so let's go with Harvest Stone first. And what I want to go do here is harvest them to like one tap. So with the next one I can just go around and well with breaking stone. Yeah, that will count for that I guess. Hey, okay, luckily I got like a big rock. Some like that. Uh, it's good that I haven't healed at all, so I know about how much health he should have. So, yeah, I should be able to collect the next one. And, yeah, he should be alive for it. I reckon Maeve might have spawned as well, but yeah. I'll just get this one, destroy stone. That's number 90 as well. He's gonna be there by the time. Yeah, this makes it easier, I guess, but probably a few stones that I need to destroy. I don't know. Yeah, so I don't reckon my whole one tap thing worked because zero out of ten. Guess you have to break in the hallway, and that's the only way it counts. Or I don't know, really. Unless you can't do it in the storm. Alright, so that one didn't really go to plan considering I got like a hundred gold from it and some of that gold could have been from searching chests, so yeah. Might try it another way. I mean that one could work, but like it's slow gold I guess. Alright, so the second way is to go to like the Reaper. And he has a one to complete a bounty. Which is like 90 gold, so you might as well take that. And also, you want to accept a bounty. So, with this maximum out of the first one, is like a hundred and wait, 240. And if you don't complete your bounty, as in someone else kills them, you'll get like 120. And yeah, you can keep on going back to him and getting like more bounties to get like an extra. 150 gold, or 30 if you don't kill the guy. Yeah, um, like his first one, completing a bounty, you can only do it like once per game, so yeah. Ah, oh, seems the guy killed him. And I might be a bit away from that, but I completed the bounty plus I got stolen, so 
It's like 120 anyway. I don't know. So, uh, Brutus was the other one. That hands out golden gold for completely bounty. Uh, the only problem is he has a a jewel to do. And also he's been cooking storm for a bit, so... I guess one of those things happened. Either he died to storm or... Well, he got jeweled. Alright, so considering, like, Brutus has a jewel with him, when the Reaper's special is, like, upgrading weapons, it might be best to go to Brutus first, because I guess they're basically the same. They both do bounties and both have that challenge. And you might get yourself a... I reckon it could be a compact SMG. Not sure, really, though. Anyway, the final one. You could do this in solos. But it's easier if you go into Team Rumble to do this. And that's basically because you got like 16 people on your team, 16 people on the other team. Normally people don't cross the line, so hopefully you can be on the right side for this one. Alright, so maybe not the best, but it is on the middle side of that. So where you want to go is Sweaty Sands. Uh, there could be a chance that I could, or the final circle could be here, but... Yeah, I'll talk to you more when I get there. Okay, so sweaty scenes. What you're looking for is like this building here. Why is that? Well, it turns out that every bed, couch, and chest contains gold. So what I'm going to do is destroy, well, this floor, and then everything above will get destroyed. I might take out a few couches as well, but this one does take a bit of time to like destroy everything. Nice minigun. If I got more ammo for it, it would be great, but yeah. It's like an ammo chest in there and. 90, so sure. You just want to take out all supports to this. That will be a bit of help, I guess. I mean, I guess I could chuck some grenades over there. Might destroy a bit of it. Yeah. So, the elevator is different. So, you're gonna have to take that out. And, yeah. Destroy the whole level. Easy 8 go like that. Just because there was like two couches here, so that's 16. Okay, more light ammo. It's just fast, like pickaxe. So the magic happens when you take down the last wall. Because it's a big, like, place, everything falls down. Get heaps of ammo and all that. The good things is piles of gold. 70 gold there. A few 8 piles or something like that. Uh, let's see how high I can get this. 113 so far. Jump down here, a bit more gold. A bit more gold over here. Um, 120 or something like that. More gold outside because I blew that up. Sometimes you can get like a, was it, a bolt safe thing? That gives you like a hundred, so that's like a nice boost to it. Some of the beds can have like a critical, or have like a chance to get like heaps of like gold from them. Like yeah, that was 25 out of that one when it's normally 8, so yeah. Um, just destroy everything. Couches have chance and yeah. Plus you have a choice of weapons. Considering it's like a team rumble game you might need them. Alright so with my collection I know that like the Reaper and Brutus both have it. But I'm not sure about Maeve and Mancake. So what I'm gonna do go around to all four of these locations. Well first see if they've got the uh, completed bounty. And then I'm going to 
well, on the final one, I'm going to get a bounty from them. And then I'm going to see how much gold I get when I complete that bounty. Because with these two, uh, it's going to be 180. They complete the bounties. Could turn out to 360. And then, like, another, like, 100. 50 for like the actual bounty so yeah we'll see how it goes all right so with my games I've realized a few things one uh, Brutus doesn't always have the bounty thing uh, he only has it sometimes uh, also there's not that many cars at like dirty dogs so yeah so it's good yeah. turns out man cake doesn't have the thing at all um, it's just checking here but uh, he doesn't have it. You know, I hate to say it, but I reckon Brutus and, like, the Reaper are the only one two to have it. Oh, it's got upgraded weapons. Oh, nice, I've got a great weapon, so, sure, might as well do that. Then upgrade it. Then get the bounty, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, I don't know, real. Nice, he's got it. Uh, he doesn't always have this challenge, he can, like, swap between three, but he might actually be the best one, because he's got the bounty thing. He's got a buy a gun, which most of the time it's Legro, sometimes it's epic or something like that. He's got upgrades, and he's got a jewel for, like that. Anyway, might as well see if I can get over to the Reaper. And another thing I may have found out is you can't have two of the same thing, but... I'll double check, just because, like, Brutus, I like the changing thing and all that. Okay, let's see if my suspicion was right. I oh, know I can get them both. That's cool. Uh, complete a bounty. So, if I complete this bounty, uh, I should get about 200 gold or something. And that's if I don't kill the person. If I kill the person, it's going to be up to like 400 or something like that. Alright, so... I might have showed it. I'm sure, really. But anyway, uh, because my guns need to be loading, and I was at low health, I decided to like run away from my bounty because like they killed the guy that I was battling and then because I was left at low health, I decided to run away um, then I decided to reload and while I was healing up yeah, another guy came along and killed me so yeah, I didn't get it but anyway, if I did kill him or someone else killed him so minimum it would have been like the both of them so 98 so like 180 plus the 30 if I didn't kill them but someone else killed them so about 210 and then because it's like 150 if you actually kill them add another like 120 so about 330 I don't know really but yeah for that you have to like run away run over the whole map and the thing is, like, if you do the bounty there, or if you get the bounty as soon as you, the thing, like, that could be an extra, like, 150 on that, so, yeah, about 480, I don't know, really. But anyway, this is channel 450, my name's A, that's where you get signing out. Alright, item shop time. Alright, so we've got the races, the noir sets. Um, yeah, this one I've already done. This one doesn't repeat. New music, I may end up doing it, but anyway. Uh, soccer skins, soccer emotes, packs, and all that, so. Yeah, probably this one. <laughs>